Winchester. And here is the rifle that made the 405 Winchester famous. The single stop column, extremely well feeding Winchester 1895, designed by John M. Browning. This was the rifle Teddy Roosevelt took to uh, Africa. He called it his lion medicine. He also took rhino with it. Got a very interesting history. Lots of early explorers used this rifle because it was the most powerful thing loaded in North America. Let's talk about feeding this beast. So you're in luck to feed this rifle because uh, luckily, even though it was made in 1904, out of production for a long time, Hornaday is once again making these beautiful cases. And they're like an elongate, elongated 303 or 3040 with a thick rim. So they're hard to make out of anything else. It's a long case, sort of roughly patterned on the old 4082 black powder cartridge that Winchester then loaded up to high pressure loads. The 1895 is good to 50,000 pounds per square inch. So this is where it gets its humdinger, humdingeriness from. Easily over 3,500 foot-pounds, old, this old cartridge. Bullets are also fairly easy to get. Hornaday used to make a Spitzer and a flat nose. Now, they simply make that Spitzer. I also use these woodlays. I've got a mount, big mountain caribou with that woodlay. And these are 300 grain bullets. That was the standard kind of weight. And you can get heavier bolts from Hawk, but I'm going to stick with the 300 grain bolts. And from my friend George in Florida, here's some more 300 grain bolts. That's the 300 grain North Fork. That will expand down to 1600 feet per second and hold together at 3000 feet per second, which it will never see in this rifle. It's the 300 grain X bullet by Barnes. Uh, that has a ballistic coefficient of 280. Uh, you can see they're a lot longer than the cup and core uh, Hornaday bullet because this bullet has a big base of copper. Uh, it's also bonded and this bullet is all copper. And I've also got some solids just in case I run across, I don't know, a hippopotamus or a rhinoceros or some other kind of os. And uh, with these four bullets I'm pretty much uh, I guess five bullets, I'm pretty much able to take any game in North America and almost anything in Africa out of my, uh, my Browning designed 1895. So uh, I'm going to test these on targets. I'm going to use the Vitburi N133, which George recommends. Let's give this a try, see how it works. My Reloader 7, I think, is a little bit hot. And uh, we'll also try these on ballistic media and see how they hang together at different speeds. So, uh, that's the journey. Hi. The best time to come out here is when the conditions are terrible. When you want to do bullet testing. So the conditions are terrible. <laughs> we picked the right day. Thing of beauty. That's the North Park. Is the jug? It went a. It went a flying. <laughs> there. About thirteen inches. And it's going a little slower. The solid went right through, so that was uh, 26 inches. I didn't catch it. Not only to go through, it had enough power to really look at the exit wound. Holy crap!
It's a nice old woodlay. Yeah. Okay. Great day. Highest speed. Highest pressure. Uh, lowest pressure. Lowest speed. Uh, they all penetrated about the same. They all retained over 98% of their weight. They all have about similar expansion. I think you just pick which of these is the most accurate in a rifle and use them. This may be slightly better penetration. Uh, a little bit less destruction, but not much. Very, very similar bullets. I'll show them to you on the side there. Uh, I can load all of these up a little bit. You can see that the woodlay became the closest to being a ball. And uh, in some ways that helps it wobble less in the... Uh, in the um, media, so it's not so not such a bad thing to to have a lower shank. But these are all really good bullets. The solids, uh, I loaded them down because I thought the pressure would be higher. Turned out that I loaded them too low. It was only 2,070, and the the uh, accuracy was atrocious. The accuracy of these other bullets was quite good actually. Let me show you a little bit. So there's the. There's the Barnes X load. It's a pretty good load. It's at 75 yards. Here's the uh, North Fork. Best load of the day was the Woodley. Six inches low of these guys. And then the X, maybe because it was a little bit higher pressure, was only three inches low. So uh, interesting. Interesting day. Thanks for watching.